It's said that one out of every two people today suffers from cancer in their life. There is a great demand for treatment which provides a cure in as short a time as possible to facilitate an early return to society. QST conducts research on heavy ion radiotherapy and uses it for treatment. This therapy can truly satisfy those needs. QST established HIMAC, the world's first heavy ion accelerator for medical use in 1993. In 2016, QST successfully developed a 360 degree rotating gantry, which enables irradiation from any angle. As a result of repeated clinical studies, in the case of lung cancer at the early stage, therapeutic irradiation can be reduced to just one day. HIMAC is about the same size as a football pitch. Research and development has been carried out on a facility called the Quantum Scalpel, which will drastically downsize the accelerator to about the size of a volleyball court. Heavy ion radiotherapy is effective for localized cancers, but not for metastasized or scattered cancers. By using an accelerator, QST has succeeded in producing Astatine 211, a radioactive isotope which emits an alpha ray. A radioisotope targeted therapeutic drug, combining astatine with a certain type of antibody, killed multiple cancer cells scattered inside the body of a mouse. Aiming at implementing clinical studies, QST has been working on R&D for a new radioisotope targeted therapeutic drug. The number of dementia patients is expected to increase in the future. It has even been estimated that a new patient developing dementia emerges every three seconds somewhere in the world. But no drugs for fundamental therapies against dementia have been approved. QST has developed PBB3, a radioactive drug which visualizes the tau proteins that cause the death of nerve cells within the brain in many types of dementia. When the brain of a patient with Alzheimer's disease was scanned by PET after the administration of PBB3, it was discovered that the areas showing tau protein accumulation expand with the clinical progression of the disease. Using the tau accumulation visualized by PBB3 as a biomarker, QST is conducting research on the diagnosis of dementias, as well as R&D on ways to assess therapeutic drug candidates. Image diagnostic technology, as typified by CT, is now widely diffused. Against this backdrop, Japanese medical radiation exposure is said to be amongst the highest in the world. In collaboration with universities and other research institutes, QST has developed Waza-Ari, a system whereby medical institutions can assess the medical radiation exposure dose of a patient during the CT examination. It's hoped Waza-Ari will be useful for conducting an appropriate examination, avoiding unnecessary radiation exposure. Meanwhile, many people have been concerned about the health effects of long-term radiation with low doses. In response to that, QST is carrying out experiments with animals in order to elucidate the radiation effect of exposure. Experiments using mice, which are prone to brain tumors, revealed that the rate of cancer was similar between a group of mice not exposed to radiation and a group exposed to a low dose over a long period. QST will continue accumulating data with the aim of clarifying the mechanism of cancers caused by radiation. Radiation is used in a variety of fields, including industry and agriculture, besides the medical use. When people are exposed to radiation, or at the time of a nuclear accident, radiation emergency medicine is required. Designated as the Core Advanced Radiation Emergency Medical Support Center, which performs a central role in the Japanese radiation emergency medicine system, 
QST conducts activities that include medical support for the Nuclear Emergency Corps hospitals in cooperation with four other Advanced Radiation Emergency Medical Support Centers. When medical support is required after radiation or nuclear accidents or at disaster locations in Japan or abroad, the Department of Radiation Emergency Management Team, or REMAT, goes to the site to conduct necessary procedures. QST's mission is to support the safety of society which uses radiation. QST studies and deals with the medical use of radiation and its effects in order to contribute to people's health and the creation of a safer society.